up, guys? Ramon here. We are live from the Wholesale Sharks podcast, live from the Dispo Shark studio. Uh, today's a very special day. We have uh, one of the most amazing people I've ever fucking met in my life, Mr. Brent Daniels here with us, man. Brent, uh, before yes. before I go into everything that I'm going to say about you, yeah. how are you? I am fantastic. I'm excited. I, it is an honor to be here. You guys are doing amazing things here, and uh, for... Um, the opportunity to, to do this live, and I don't know if we take questions or if it's just going to be us, but uh, I'm excited to do it uh, so, any way we do this. Yeah, yeah so we definitely ha uh, had some questions come in from the from our followers. Uh, we did a thing where we were saying, ask us anything that you want us to ask, Brent. Love it. They sent some stuff in, so we'll, we'll definitely get into that, man. First, I just want to take a moment to thank you, man. Uh, it's it's incredible. Um, and then we'll just kind of like wing it, sure. freestyle it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, before we begin, my co-host here, Christian Maldonado. Thank you very much for Christian. coming in today, Brett. We we are really uh, really thankful for you to show up today. And uh, yes, please, we I think it's going to be a, very, a lot of fun. Oh, we're going to have a lot of fun. It's it's, it's going to be amazing, man. So uh, interesting story. I mean, we all know who Brent is. I've known him since the first day I started wholesaling. I put wholesaling, and he's the first person that appeared on there. And I always saw you like this amazing person that you are. Yeah. Um, bigger than life itself, but I was so I was always so like scared to say hello to you ah. wherever I would go. Yeah, everybody that I would uh, speak to or or know, they were always on your training. But then I, I came into a position where I was starting to do deals, and I was like, "Fuck, am I too late to join a training?" <laughs> like I've already started doing the deals. I'm like, I want to do the training. Yeah, it's kind of like I did it backwards. You know, I started doing the stuff, but all my friends, I would ask, "Hey man, what training are you doing?" Oh, we're doing the the one with Brent, yep. like one of my buddies from Tucson, he came yep. over to your training. He's like, yeah, the talk to people thing mm -hmm. and all that. Um, so you were just the person that we would always see everywhere. Yeah. And um, we finally get got to say hello at a party recently, right? Mm -hmm. And the first thing that I said to you was, um, dude, I've always wanted to say hello, but I've always been so scared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, you know, you see people on a screen and yeah. then you see them in yeah. real life and you're like, oh, OK, they're just, you know, these are just people. So, you know, uh, we, we've done a great job over the last five years of trying to get as loud as possible on the basics of finding discounted properties, wholesaling properties, yep. being the foundation of being an actual real estate investor. Yep. You know what I mean? And I think that that's really, really, really key is if you build a company like you have that you are constantly sourcing these opportunities, then you could do whatever you want. Yep. You can start getting into fix and flips. You can get into building a rental portfolio. You can get into development. You can get into doing your own podcast and coaching and, and being the bank and all these exciting things. But yep. it all starts with the seed of finding discounted properties. And I think yep. that that's what was lacking yep in rich dad poor dad right yeah. we all read that and all of a sudden our brains are changed forever it sparks something inside right. of us and we're like oh my gosh <laughs> this is what i want to do i want this this is a life hack yeah. this is how you really build wealth and really uh and, and listen when we talk about building wealth what we're really talking about is we want to have control of our time we want to have control yeah. of the things that we do the people we surround ourselves with right. and the places that we go you know what i mean uh, yes we all want to own real estate and say that we own real estate and get this passive income and all that but all that really boils down to is control yep. control yep. of the time that we have on this planet exactly. right the yeah. fact that we're even on this planet is unbelievable it's a miracle one in 400 trillion right <laughs> if, if, if gary v's right and the internet's right if you look at the odds of being a human being on this planet yep. and then we have the ability to go out anywhere in this country and have a conversation with a property owner and find opportunities. Yeah. I mean, it's just, this is the best business that I can imagine. This it's is the incredible. best, it's it, it's life changing. And, it, and the best thing is if you just put the work in, if you have the courage to be able to go out there and talk to enough people, you will be successful. Incredible. It is undefeated. It is it's undefeated. True, There's not true. a single person that I know even if they barely speak the language or they stumble and fumble or they're just very nervous, but they talk to enough people, they still make income. They still find opportunities. They still change their lives. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. It's just yeah. having the courage to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. So um, just to give the viewers a, a little bit of background, yep. 
we know who you are. Sure. Um, we know all your trajectory history. I mean, over 250 million and yeah. you know sold revenue and it's like incredible. I mean, what's what's there that you haven't done, right? Uh, do you want to just give uh, the audience a quick introduction, just yeah. like a uh, who is Brent Daniels? Let I'm I'm gonna take this way back because this is Boom. Be take it back, baby. Please do. It's Woo! like we're it's like we're sitting here Love in it. the living room. We're just chatting it up. So chatting sure. it up. Here's the thing. I grew up in a family that you either you were you you couldn't just go to school and then do nothing, right? Yeah. You either had to play sports or get a job. That was it. That was the avenue. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna play sports. Yeah. Right. So sports were was always around. I've never had a regular job. Mm. I've never had a W two. I've never done anything like that. So for everybody out there watching and listening that has that, I don't have that experience. Uh -huh. Okay. But I understand what, what it means to have a restricted schedule because right out of college I got my real estate license mm -hmm. because I read Rich Dad Poor Dad. My twenty year old mushy brain it just was like boom, this is it. And so I got a license and became a realtor right? Just traditional real estate. I thought yep. that's the only way to understand all these crazy words, escrow, yep. purchase contract, earnest Fidu money, fiduciary, fiduciary, <laughs> you know, all of these things uh, that, that are very common to, to what our brains understand now. When you don't know those words growing up, you don't have uh, somebody that's in the business that's kind of mentoring you or family that does it, it's very foreign. It feels very scary. Yep. So I wanted to get a license and understand it. And then you get into the trap of, of you know, uh, making money, being a real estate agent. And then you kind of get away from being an investor. Mm -hmm. And so um, I had to flip that all on its head after the, after the crash of 2008, mm -hmm. lost everything. Um, foreclosed in five properties, lost a couple cars, Man. had a judgment slapped against me. I, I, I got an office lease, right? I got an office lease, but it was 9,000 feet at Scottsdale Air Park. was going to open up the biggest real estate investing brokerage in the world, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, then, and then the economic world melted, and I was stuck with that and got slapped with a huge, huge uh, judgment of over uh, $700,000. Wow. My God. Because if you don't pay your office lease, they sue you. I mean, that's kind of what happens. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I had that and um, lost the lost the cars, lost. Uh, I was married at the time, law, it, it got a divorce, um, oh went through God. the um, going through these attorney review they 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 look at all of your bank accounts they have access to everything they yeah. can see how much money you have so if you get anything they take it so it was like this really big struggle so wow. i i really had nothing to go off of but i still had um that fire in my belly to do real estate i yeah. mean i just knew that real estate was the path to get out of it and so if anybody out there is watching or listening uh, that is maybe you don't have a lot of money starting at this. I was in the hole $750,000 reviewed by uh -huh. attorneys on a 90 day basis. So it wasn't even having no money. It was you owing money. Way going into it. owe a ton. <laughs> so if somebody's starting with no money, you're already 700,000 ahead. There you <laughs> have it. You're way over there. I'm way back here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. way in that hole down there. Oh my God. But you know what? You know, listen, when you're rock bottom, that's the strongest foundation. Yeah. And I just knew that if I got out there and I was proactive enough and I found enough ugly houses, I could get big checks. Yeah. And that's what I did. And seven, that's how I climbed down. Seven out ugly ass houses away from getting out of that hole. That's it. Damn. Right? That's, that's, that's it. That's how we see it. That's right? it. That's and, it. And, you know, I think also being, you know, from that hole of under the negatives, you know, we always saw the positive light of that where we would say, okay, well, yeah, we're not even broke. We're like under the broke level. We have to have zero to be broke. Mm -hmm. We're like way under the broke levels when we started. So we're like, the way we would see it is the, the crazier the hole gets, mm -hmm. it's like a slingshot. Yeah. Like you've got a fucking $700,000 <laughs> propeller yeah, yeah. behind you and That's fucking it. skyrocket you. That's it. When somebody else has like a $20,000, they're probably right here and their slingshot's a little bit smaller. But can you imagine, like, if you're able to get out of that seven hundred thousand dollar yeah. hole, like, how much further up can you fucking go? Yeah, I mean, like talk about motivation. This guy's the fucking limit. You're like, I got out of that. I can fucking go as high as I fucking want. Well, and I think you know the interesting thing was, um, I I did this to myself. It, it, it was it was almost like a 
subconscious self-sabotage. I knew that what I was doing was wrong, but I felt like I needed a chip on my shoulder. I felt like I needed something to like, like you were saying, pull it down a pull little bit. Me. My my life has been soft. I mean, I grew up around the kitchen table every day. We had dinner. My dad asked us, what was one nice thing that happened to you today? Uh, every single yeah. day, we would talk about it. We would, you know, You're like, we I need were some very connected. Yeah, to <laughs> I mean, everything was great. I'd never lost anybody uh, uh, that was that was close to me. I've lived a very, very comfortable life. And I, I uh, felt to myself, and I saw all these people that had rough stories and rough <laughs> lives. And I they got were, shot three times. No, they were just... In jail. They were just... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were just tougher. They were tougher. They were doing more. And I was just soft. And, and I felt like I needed to have that chip. And I don't think that I really did. Um, you know, looking back on a hindsight, I, I, I would... I, I hope that through my message and through the content that I have, that I help people uh, prevent these situations and understand that you can just take a take a, a path upwards if you just talk to enough people and are proactive. Yep. But for me, I had to learn the hard way. Yeah, yeah Brent, I had to learn the hard way. Brent, uh, so good point. Actually, that brings up the next question. What was one of the biggest sacrifices that you could recall that you had to make? Like you said, you were, you were always comfortable coming up, yeah. right? Obviously, minus the uh, you know seven you know who knows how much in debt that you were yeah. what was one of the biggest struggles that you had to overcome or biggest sacrifice was that, you that had to the make? biggest struggle the seven was that it? oh or? for sure I mean it it, w it was that but it was also like um, you know when you go from driving a, a Mercedes and a Range Rover to a two thousand two um, very dented up <laughs> you know Toyota. <laughs> Um, you think that everybody's looking at you. You think that everybody's judging you. You think that you've got to hide a little bit. There's a hangover from that for a while. And then when your car starts smelling. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, now it smells too? Shit. Hey, I got a question. Because uh, that just impacted me. So how do you, like, bounce back? Because in mm -hmm. my mind, I'm like, I'm going to get 9 to 5. Yep. And you have to feed yourself with some kind of dopamine, some kind yep. of, like, positivity because everything's mm -hmm. going to... I mean, the book, you know, the movie's going to be great, right? Yeah. But, how do you but there you go. Features? In there in the mic. Say it to the mic. Yeah. Say, it in the, say it in the mic. Okay. Yeah. Well, Rodrigo. Hey, hey, Rodrigo. Hey, Rodrigo, everybody. Rodrigo. I got a quick question because this impacted me. So the thing is that you see it in every superhero. Like, how how'd you can how can you bounce back? I would have gotten a 9 to 5, yeah. and I would have said. That is the superhero thing that happened. We all, he had that moment of like financial death yeah where he either revives and bounces back or just stays I, dead i was feeling like i'm in this situation just by hearing him i'm like okay so i'm gonna get a nine to five how can i stay positive uh -huh. is it books is it something has to happen how'd you multiply yourself to be able to get out of that hole i door knocked <laughs> that's all i did I went out and I door knocked 15,000 houses and I've, I got a few deals from it yeah. and that was enough to stay afloat. That was enough to hire an attorney to negotiate that, okay. that judgment. Yeah. Um, that was enough to get my head above water and understand that if I just go out there every single day and get in front of enough people, yep. then I win. And this is, by the way, guys, this is like 2011, 12. There was no skip tracing. Mm. Okay. Yeah. There, there was. Uh, but it was like through companies and you had to do a full background check and you had to do, yep. they had to come in and make sure that your office was locked yep. and that there was file, the, the, this whole thing, there was a, there wasn't like, it wasn't open to the public like yep, it is yep. now. Um, but fortunately the, the brokerage that I had hung my real estate license with at the time, they were doing a bunch of short sales and mm -hmm. they were able to get um, a uh, skip tracing through LexisNexis. Okay. So they had... Skip tracing. Oh, nice. So the first time somebody gave me a phone number for a neighbor of theirs that they were caretaking their house, it was vacant house, mm -hmm. but they lived four houses down. The owners lived in New York. They gave me the name and number, called her up, got the deal, made 6000 on it. I was like, all I need is name, address, phone number. Ooh. That's all I need. If you give me the name, address, and phone number of ugly houses, I will be set for life. I'll take care of For life. You're like, all and you can eat. And it's been, and it's been bananas <laughs> since then. It's been bananas uh, uh, since that time. And, and that's why I stand on a soapbox. And that's why I try to tell everybody, if you just find ugly houses, you can get big checks. Nice. Absolutely. And, and you know, we, we, we actually talk about that all the time. You know, hey, we want to buy a jet. Okay, well, what is, how much do you need? Okay, we need about 500 down or something like that. Okay, well, what is that? It's like, Three, four really fucked up houses mm -hmm. away from the jet. 
Yeah. You know, like that's all it really is. It's not yep. the five hundred thousand. It's can you find four or five in big, ugly enough opportunities for you to to make that happen? And and a lot of people think it's impossible. Oh my god, I need a hundred deals. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. Dude, like you get three or four good deals, you know, hundred K each, you know. Just a special opportunity, you'll, you'll get whatever you want. Very well, simple. It depends on your mindset. It, it depends, depends on, on if mindset. you're looking for massive deals. Because we find what we're Ooh, looking for. You hit the nail on the head. If you're looking for massive you deals, you'll find head. massive deals. It's exactly what you focus on. When I first started, I was mm-hmm. focusing on $5,000 deals. Because I said, if I make 5000 that's how much I need to live. Right. I'll pay my mortgage. I'll pay my bills. I have 2000 left for entertainment. Is what I'm making in my 9 to 5. So I was looking for five thousand dollar deals. That's it. All day long, mm-hmm. all day long for my first year. Like, oh, I had another five thousand. Yes, another. And I, I was that was all I was getting. Yeah. And you, you like you said, you focus later on on the size of the deals, twenty thousand, forty thousand, fifty. And now we're focusing on hundred thousand dollar deals. Of course. Where's the next hundred thousand? Where's it? Well, and I say, <laughs> you know, and and I believe this is true, and I've seen it t- hundreds of times. The first time somebody gets a deal that's over fifty thousand dollars, it breaks your brain. It breaks your brain. It breaks your brain. It breaks your you're brain. Screwed. All of a sudden, you're like, <laughs> I remember I got a forty-two thousand dollar check, and I talk about this because I was in, uh, I was in the the kitchen with my wife, yep. and um, I got goosebumps. I, I was feeling very weird. Like, uh, this is real. My my, my whole, like my my throat <laughs> was kind of getting dry. My belly was getting like all watery, and I was like kind of like. It wasn't Corona. Mm, no, no, no. Okay, this cool. is well before that. Oh, gotcha. But but it was just like it literally broke something in me, and I was like, "Holy shit! This I can." What's the difference between this and a hundred thousand? Yeah. What's the difference between this and two hundred fifty thousand dollar deal or a million dollar deal or whatever it is? Yeah. You know what I mean? It just it's that proof of concept that you can get that much money from from pulling it out of the air. Pulling it out of the ether, you can find forty-two thousand dollars from one quality conversation from one property owner. Yeah, that's, that's bananas. That's amazing. Christian, he started this week, and he already has prospects that he's working on, oh, yeah. where the, these some of these deals have a hundred thousand uh-huh. dollar equity in them. Yep. Mm-hmm. And just because he shows up, he believes he he actually left Bank of America to join us, so we're pretty awesome. excited. You know, how hard it is to steal a Bank of America employee nowadays. <laughs> it's very hard because they give you benefits you have security you've been yep. there for so long yep. it's a real company <laughs> and then like you talk to your buddies who has something like this set up hey man leave them for this uncertainty that we have here Do you know with, what I'm on? yes you're right with a shitload of potential you're completely you're completely right yeah the one thing that one thing that they that they make you so accustomed to is being comfortable the com- mm-hmm. yeah you're comfortable you're comfortable uh but i mean security i'm sure you, get, I'm sure you can both agree you know, you guys wouldn't be in the position that you are now if right. you, if you would have stayed comfortable. Well, guess what happens when you get uncomfortable? What happens? You know what's also uncomfortable? What is it? The seats in my Lamborghini. They're so fucking exactly. uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what's comfortable? <laughs> a fucking minivan. Well, I, want that, I want that sort of uncomfortable. <laughs> I got really uncomfortable, and I, I don't fit in that motherfucker. But those it's just are tiny like saying, cars. Yeah, those are tiny you, cars. You have to get uncomfortable exactly. because the cool shit is uncomfortable. Yes. Well, and it also, <laughs> I, I think the real question is for, for everybody yeah. is, and, and, and it's one that you really have to sit and investigate inside your own mind and inside your own experiences. What is your money to happiness ratio? Because science tells us it's 75 grand. Yeah. You can Google it right now. If yeah. you Google money yeah. well, to everybody out there money, to go ahead and Google that for money us. Money to happiness ratio. Yeah. It's at seventy five thousand dollars. They say after seventy five thousand dollars. Yes, a year. Yes, year? year. Seventy five thousand yep. dollars a year. At a hundred and five, your happiness goes down. That's what they say. That's wow. what they say. What I will challenge that is we have different brains. <laughs> It's true. I'm just, I, I am telling you. But one thing, and I talked yeah. about it today on my live show on my YouTube channel. Um what I see oftentimes yeah. is people at that seventy-five thousand dollar mark in this business, yeah. and then they start spending it all. It's like a weird ceiling in our mentality, where all of oh, a sudden shit. they start spending it on. Oh, I need to do. I need to pe- spend ten grand in pay per click, and I need to spend ten grand on uh, direct mail, wow. and I got to do this and that and this and that. I'm telling you, as a sign of warning. When you hit that seventy-five, eighty-five, ninety-five, hundred thousand dollar mark, bank. watch in the it. Bank. In the no, bank. no, no, just just total, in just general. just coming in, just coming, coming in, in over the over the time. You yeah. know, you start getting, you're like, oh my gosh, my bills are paid. I've got extra money. I've got yeah. all these other things, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
a lot of people go and they they will sabotage the the speed of their business because their mindset the philosophy the people that they are around for the most part yeah. make 75 80 90 thousand dollars and they're comfortable with it's great i'm at that 75 that and you know that's that's crazy that you said it yep. because when i got offered my england job i used to work at the bank i was at working at bank of america too at the time there you go. and i got offered that great great minds come out of there right <laughs> there you go <laughs> then we both bounced and then we both now, bounced when <laughs> i got offered that one job i was currently making like 45 base mm-hmm. or f- something like that they offered me 75 mm-hmm. right? it was like a 75 80 and i was happy as hell you know like because of that number that you said they probably googled it where it was the number yeah. like they could have offered more but it was at that number that everybody's happy at yeah, and I, you know, listen, I just, if anybody really wants to be successful building a portfolio in real estate and build, yeah. being a real estate entrepreneur, mm-hmm. you have to understand that if you want to get there faster, yeah, when you get money coming in, you're either spending it or investing it, yeah. right? That's what you're doing. And taxes, obviously. But yeah. spending and investing, the more that you invest, the faster you're going to get to whatever financial goal that you have, right? Mm-hmm. Because it just builds and builds and builds and builds. Uh, and then if you spend it, that's fine. It just depends. Or is it is this extrinsic? Do you want everybody to see this stuff? Or is it intrinsic? Intrinsic happiness comes from joy and fulfillment. Yeah. That comes from really feeling it. That comes from, yeah. holy shit, look at all the value that I provided to the marketplace this year. A yeah. million, two million, three million oh, dollars. Happiness. That's crazy, yeah. right? So you really have to investigate. You got to look at what makes you happy. Are you happy making 75? Great. Are you happy? Are, are, are you really going to push? Do you have a different brain that you really want to push and get into those higher levels where you want to really see how much do you have? Seriously, how good are you? How much value can you provide? Because our earned income is equal to the amount of value we provide to the community. Yeah, that's how just, much value. That's fact. Did you save somebody from losing their house that now your value is exponentially more because they would have made nothing? How about right? selling like, the properties to our cash buyers and they make a fortune? How about that? Yeah. How about, I mean, there's so many wins find, in wholesaling. Yeah, find, yeah. find where, where you fit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you definitely have everything, everything in place. I mean, anybody that sees what you're doing, love the show, everything that you do, yeah. you know, wholesaling ink, you know, the every everything that you touch turns to gold. <laughs> but, I, but, I, but I'm thinking for those people that think that, like, what's currently getting in your way? Is there something that you're saying or, or in your mind, everything's just perfect and just how you want it? Is there something right now that you currently an obstacle that you you want to overcome or is there something that you that you wish you could change about your current business um or or setup because sometimes what happens is we we start something yeah and we go so fast that next thing you know we become a genie inside of a fucking lamp yeah we want to have superpowers but now we're a fucking genie with superpowers stuck in our lamp like is there anything like that that you might have said i sacrificed now i made this much but but i'm sacrificing this that i wish i could maybe move around is there something for you you know in the near future that you might want to adjust um no because you look like a genie you know, no you're, no you're, no you're what, buff as fuck what, what, speaking <laughs> of which before you can see yeah. how much i have to ask how yeah. much do you how much do you bring? bench press <laughs> yeah oh, I, think, I think we're all the, mo- you the, brought most, the, guns. the most you of brought all the guns time you gotta ask right 385 is the most <laughs> yeah look at that yeah Anybody out there? Anybody? He says he's calling anybody out that wants to print more th- that thing they can b- do more than he can. Fuck. He's calling him out. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, I mean, like Ramon, that, here's the thing. You know, it's a great question. I think that I'm I'm constantly wanting to get better at what I do. I constantly want to build my vocabulary. I constantly, constantly want to be smoother with the way that I communicate. I constantly want to put really good things in my brain. But I surround myself with my favorite people yeah like my the the my acquisition manager is my college roommate who i played oh, college football with wow. my uh disposition manager was my other college roommate Woo! college football player life by design his, his <laughs> wife his wife is my lead manager oh, my dad's my cfo oh my, my mom's God. my bookkeeper my Damn. best friend since i was 12 
uh, runs my marketing for my coaching business. Wow. Uh, he's got a phenomenal partner that's that that's incredible. I've got all Alejandra that like yeah. runs the whole show. So I mean, I'm really surrounded by incredible people. And then I get to hang out with Jamil and Pace and yeah. these guys, Wholesome the people in Steve Trang and the people and the guys at Batch and all these incredible people. Um, I just feel really really fortunate. And the thing that I've gotten really good at is um, I don't travel. Yeah, I don't travel a lot. I don't travel. There's a lot of opportunities to speak on stage. Yeah. There's a lot of opportunities to go see a lot of the students face to face that I work with. Yeah. And um, I built a studio during COVID and I felt like I could get my message out better by investing a lot of money into the studio to be able to communicate the message that I have of talking to people. And so that leaves me a lot of opportunity to raise my young kids, uh, right? I'm in that uh, mode. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? I'm in this You're se- in that season. That's it. That's the season you're That's in. That's it. Yep. Wow. So, oh, I mean, the, the, the biggest challenges uh, right now is, uh, I, is staying focused. Staying focused. Staying really I'm focused, sure and I'm good at that. But you're probably being pulled from all different directions and well, all these things, all these it's businesses. It's exciting. You get a bunch of money. You could do, what, am I going to buy apartments? Am I going to buy I commercial? Start, do am I start I another develop? business? Do I, I gonna, open up a restaurant? Am I going to open a bank? Complex? Am I going to be the next Bank of America? You, you know what, what I mean? I and then you One go, of my buddies is opening a bank, by the way. There you go. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. I mean, you only need $10 million bucks. That's it. So tell us, uh, Brent, so, okay. So what is next for for Brent Daniels? What is next? What do, what do you say you have your 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 heart and your eyes set on uh, to where you know where, what's where's life taking or, you? Or are you like an autopilot while you get through the season? You coasting right it now? out? What's the deal? No, what you're doing? No, listen, guys, I've got a, I've got a fire. In an me autopilot that's, means you're yeah. fucking going. No, I know because it doesn't mean that you're not doing anything. And you don't stop because you do a lot. <laughs> Yeah, no, I listen every day somebody joins my TTP coaching every day and that's a new opportunity to to really sink my claws into people that are starting out or people wanting to scale and grow their business. So every day is exciting. That's yeah. if I could just coach all day long, I'm the happiest guy in the world. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then on the flip side, from a re- investment side, I don't know. You know, I'm very confused right now. Um, we bought a big commercial property. We'll see what we're doing there. But I don't know what is going to lead me to more happiness. It is. I don't think it's going to be owning a lot of single family houses. That's, I don't think a, it's going to be pain. apartments. That's a pain. I don't think it's going to be anything like that. I think it's probably going to be commercial if I'm okay. if I'm yeah. it, 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 at this point in my yeah. life, yeah. Uh, get into some commercial things and see what's going on there because there's yeah. only certain lots in okay. our state that are commercial. Yeah. You yeah. know, they 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 typically don't give out more unless mm-hmm. it's uh, you know, further in the outskirts. But if you're in the core of the city and you buy something commercial, uh, you've got a safe investment for you know a long time, as long as we yeah. don't run out of water and we don't get <laughs> <Right>. too hot. <laughs> yeah. right. No, that, that so that that, that makes amazing. that makes sense. So, uh, in terms of your coaching, I mean, that's, yeah. that, can you tell us a little bit more about that? That's pretty exciting because we have a lot of new, yeah, a uh, new uh, students. We have yeah. a lot of new followers. We have like our the last couple of events that we've done, we've had an overwhelming response yeah. from the new community, which is amazing because. You know, it's usually the same people and some die out and things happen. They quit and then they're over. But I think, you know, the events that we started doing, which thank you for joining us uh, January 20th. It's going to be great. For that event. We're going to, you know, we're going to melt faces. We have so many new people there that are joining this again. So it's like, it's like a, like uh, one of those uh, fishing ponds where you keep throwing yeah. more fish and then keep growing the, mm-hmm. the actual agricultural. Not to mention the amount of networking uh, connections that you're yeah. able to come up after these events. So, so what can you tell our viewers about your, your coaching program? Because I know it's one of the best in the country. Like hands yeah. down. Hands yeah, down. I mean, listen, nobody has more testimonials. Like real, real, real checks. Because the, the, the job of a coach, it's different than a mentor. All right. There's there's a difference between these things. A mentor is somebody you want to be like Mm. a coach gets you more results faster. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's a hands on. There's a big difference there. All right. So my job as a coach is to take off everything off their plate except for learning who to talk to, what to say and how to be efficient. That's Mm -hmm. it. Actually hunting for the deals. Yeah. I'll help you comp it. I'll, I'll, I'll help you sell it if you need it, or I'll, I'll put you in touch with people that'll help you sell it or connect you with it. Um, I'll, you know, I'll show you the whole process uh-huh. so that you feel confident. But for the most part, the, P, the reason T, people are so successful in TTP is because they just focus on the actual income producing activity of having quality conversations with distressed property owners. Well, that's so that's point. it. That's it. And is you that know? like an ongoing thing that somebody signs up for that? 
now they have you to work with for an ongoing yeah. amount of time? Yeah, so it's six or, months. Because you know some people, you'll sign up for like a day thing and then they never see them again. Yeah, they, it's a six month. Six month program. We have support. We have a support call going on right now with my disposition manager. So Mondays my lead manager, Tuesdays me, Wednesdays dispo, Thursdays uh -huh. my acquisition manager. So they're always they're always so doing something. So they've got support every single day, and they get my cell phone. So if they need something, they text me. So it's 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 wildly rewarding. I mean, it's um, if nobody has lost that did the work. Wow, and and it's. You know, everybody has your cell phone. I know we were talking offline that other time at the party, yeah. holiday party. Yeah. And you were like, dude, I get a thousand texts. And I re I answered everybody's texts. Everybody. I was I was like, everybody. holy crap. I yeah. can imagine. You're yeah. like, I answered every single person's text that texts me. Yeah. I'm like, that's incredible, man. Well, if you look at my text right now. Yeah. How many, how many text messages do I got? 722. 722. Yeah. 722. Hey, I'll Let's reply see. to you guys yeah. at some point. Let's see. Now, now we got to see who has more, right? I've got, uh. Well, no, I've got 15 since we've been sitting here or since I drove here. Oh, wow. Um, and a new student. So, Robert oh. Alexander, I'll call Ooh, you after this. Rats. There you go. Wow. Yep. Wow. That, that's awesome. And, yep. and, you know, that's also another one of the reasons why I thought it was going to be important for you to be at the event, to be at this podcast, because we have such a huge amount of new people mm -hmm. that don't know exactly where to go right like they don't should I join that should I join this yeah. should I the, like what's best for me I'm like yeah the hell if I know like, do pick one and go what, run would with you, it. what would you say to somebody in the event that is uh because I've been to those events yeah I've been to the events that are amazing by the way guys don't don't forget January 20th we'll see everybody there um what would you say to somebody brand new sitting down wanting to wanting to get started not knowing what to do what would be the first thing that you would say hey you know what go ahead and start doing this I would ask him what's your schedule okay mm. that's what I asked first what's yeah. your schedule yeah. what is your responsibilities right now are you 42 years old with four kids and you work a nine to five job and you want to get into real estate? Great. When are you going to find the time to do this? Right. We have 168 hours in a week. How much of your time is work? How much of it is family? How much of it is responsibilities? Because what happens is people go, well, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to take this extra money that I have. I'm going to put it into marketing. I'm going to have people call me mm -hmm. and hopefully get a deal. Yep. Well, that works in some markets. In yeah. Phoenix, you can spend fifteen grand before you get a deal. And I did, in and I got mail, nothing. Right? I you spent, can spend. I spent like fifteen in December. I got nothing. Right. I'm just sitting here like, fuck. I should buy a watch. I'm telling you. I'm <laughs> telling you. No, I mean, listen. I'm very nice watch, by the way. I, I, I'm telling you that is, you know. So if you're just starting out, I would say you need to be proactive. I would yeah. say find the ugliest properties in your neighborhood. Yeah. I would say get their address. I would say get their phone numbers. Okay. You can get it from skip tracing at batch yep. skip tracing. Mm -hmm. And you get the phone numbers and you call them up and ask them if they would consider an offer. That's it. And if you do that Enough and time. you call through them, wait, yeah. wait, this is just a test mm. to see, are you really about this life? Yeah. Are you really, you have, uh, there's a lot, if you've been, if you've had a job since you were 16 and uh, you're 30, 40, 50, and you've had that that consistent paycheck, but you want to break out. You've always had that mind. You've just never been in the right scenario situation where you can break out and really do this business. That's the perfect test. Go talk to 10 strangers Try it. about real estate and see how you feel about it. Yeah. And if it gives you energy, if you're feeling excited, if you, see, if you see the end goal down there, if you just do this yeah. enough, there it is. jump in. Wow. Jump in, commit. Because what people do is they're like, I am so pumped. I went to the Wholesale Sharks event. It was amazing. I'm going to do everything there is. We're I'm ready, get honey. It going. We're ready, honey. And, and then it just fizzles out because, you know, yeah. the event's what? Once a month? You know what I mean? Like yeah. you, you get around. And then the other thing is you got to be around people that are doing this business. Yeah. And, yeah. and so one is what's your schedule? What's your responsibilities? What's happening right now? Why do you even want to do this? What's your expectations? And then if you're really at that point where you're like, you know what? I need a change in life. I see this. I've been watching it. I've been listening to it. I've been around it. I need to be able to do this. Like if I don't, my skin's going to fall off. I'm going to feel like a terrible person. Then you get into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you you start really committing to the process, committing to having those, those um, conversations with property owners. And that's how it starts. Boom. Talking that, to people. That's, that's awesome. That that's awesome. TTP, man. baby. I remember I, I saw you speaking live the first time. It was at the All In Freedom event yeah, a couple sure. years back. Yeah, you got in there, and you you crushed that yeah. shit, man. You're yeah. fucking energetic as hell. 
You controlled the shit out of the stage. Yeah. Everybody was all engaged. Yeah. You woke people up. Yeah. It was fucking intense. The lights were off in that. It was intense. Yeah, it was very dark. <laughs> he didn't have the spotlights on yet. It was kind of a rough one because I saw like three people in the front row dead asleep. And I was like, okay, I need to wake How people up. How the hell did I wake them up? <laughs> I need woke, to wake some people up. You woke them up. We're in the back. Not to say the event. I was just saying like you have a dark room and people yeah, fall asleep. Yeah, but they, 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 they figure that thing out. And those events are fantastic. But um, yeah, I mean, the message the message is simple. If you're getting started, find ugly houses and have a have a conversation with the owner. And yeah. when and, and then people go, well, what do I talk about? I feel so awkward. You talk about four things. Mm. Every conversation Boom. that we have. Game, write it down. With a property owner. Write it down. Is about four things. Four things. Condition of the property. Mm-hmm. Timeline to sell it. Mm-hmm. Their motivation or what's their problem. What's happening. And their price. That's it. Boom. There it is. Condition, timeline, motivation, price. Condition, timeline, motivation, price. It, why you is it st- important to find out what's happening? You start with the condition. Yep. Well, first of all, you got to pre-qualify. Yeah. This is how we pre-qualify. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So how do we know if people are going to do business with this? How do we know that this good conversation that we had with somebody is somewhere. going to be something that we can actually provide value to this person? Yeah, see if you're so a good we, need, we need to see. So that's why we have those conversations. And it starts with the condition. Because if you ask people about their emotions or about yeah. themselves or their situation, and you're a stranger, they're going to put the force field up. Right. They're going to stiff arm the hell out of you. They're going to be like, no way. There's no way. There's nothing so wrong with me. You ask about the condition of the property, people are Get okay talking about that. And if they're not, then you know that this isn't somebody that, that is going to take it seriously. Anymore. And so, okay. yeah. So you ask about them. You ask them, what remodeling have you done to the kitchen and bathroom in the last yeah. five years? Right? What's going on with the flooring? How is the air conditioner? How's the pool pump? How's the pool? You, you know, all these little things that that uh, that factor in, and then you go, okay, listen. You know, it usually takes us two weeks to thirty days to get you your money. If I could get you your money in two weeks to thirty days, does that work? Mm-hmm. Well, no. I can't sell it for three years. I'm yeah. not the owner, or you know, whatever else. <laughs> right. You're like, oh my gosh, what I am I doing? Here? I'm wasting my time, right? That point. So <laughs> then you have their timeline, and typically, if you do it right, if you get the condition and the timeline, they'll tell you the motivation. They'll tell you the problem. Oh man, that property's beat up. My tenants just destroyed it. They've been terrible. They haven't paid me in a while. Oh, my son's been living in it forever and he doesn't pay me rent. Oh, it's been vacant. It's been broken into. All of these things are like ding, ding, ding. You got to find out the why because you imagine if you do all that work and then you never find out the why and then the next day it goes to auction. Because you oh. didn't ask what the hell was happening. Right. 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 Oh, I lost it at auction the next day. Right. Like, could you have asked why you're selling it? Like, is it what's Probably happening? Probably would have been down to one question. Might have been, <laughs> might, might have been able to help somehow. Yep. You know, like, hey, do this. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's it. That's incredible. So man. that's if anybody's nervous, if anybody's starting out, if anybody feels like they need to know all of the language that comes with real estate, you need common language: condition, timeline, motivation, price. Yeah. Condition, timeline, motivation, price, and everything. That is the skeleton of the conversation. You can talk to them about their uh, about their life and their property, and it can go off into this yeah. and that and all, all sorts of things. But you bring it back to those four things. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's man. what I would. That's what I would say to people starting out. One, you. what's your schedule? Two. You know, go out there, find those 10, 15, 20 properties in your neighborhood, have a conversation, and try to find out those four things. And it, yeah. cameo, cameo, cameo. You just got me Come going on. again. Let's go. <laughs> it's crazy because. Everybody, uh, welcome okay. Rodrigo back here. Welcome Rodrigo. Does the, the training and all that. And for me, I'm very like, I love education, right? Yeah. So I, I went to college, took my architecture degree, blah, blah. Awesome. Uh, I got my real estate license. So I'm always vague, like on, on teachers, right? I love teachers because. They're giving their time, mm-hmm. and you don't know how much yeah. you know runway do they actually have of because they might be doing it for a little bit, you know, maybe ten years, five years, but uh, it's not like a traditional real estate school. You can find them all over the country. There's like thousands of teachers. It's very specialized. But for this, this is wholesale, so basically, there's way more money to be made. Mm-hmm. Millionaires are created every every year, right? Every day. Every day, and the thing is, like Brent's doing this, but. Let's say he finds something else, another passion two, three years from now. So I say, you know, get it while it's hot. You know, Brent's right here. He's got the steam. He's going. I'm teaching area. I'm creating new millionaires every day. But uh, uh, a lot of people, I think, take it for granted. Like for Ramon, he did like one training, but he's like, oh, I got my kids now. Right. Mm -hmm. He's going to this. But it's like whoever didn't go to that one, like you get it while it's hot. Like he's not he's not planning to do another one. He's like, I'm done. 
But uh, same thing with Brent, you know, if you're actually interested in, in learning the right way, you know, get it while it's here. I mean, don't wait for later because later is like, uh, how do I feel? We're all emotional mm. people. Like, he might feel differently in a year from now, two years <laughs> from now. You know, so it's very important. And I, I definitely Yeah, you never you, know man. what happens with life. You know yeah. what I mean? You never know. We've got our health now, which is fantastic. And uh, you, you, you never know. You know, I, I intend on doing this as long as I possibly can. But you never know. This is the season that I'm in, and I yeah. love it. You know what I oh. mean? And so I just think that this business is... Um, anybody can do it. You know, you used to, if you, if you didn't come from a, a strong financial background, you had to have a talent, yeah. right? You had to be fast right. or you had to be big or you had to be able to shoot something, you shoot a ball really well or yeah. pass it or whatever right. else, yeah. or you had to rap or you had to act or you had to sing or you talent. had to sing or you had to you do had to all do these something. things to yeah. get out. Right yeah. now, anybody can just, you could literally, if you have zero dollars, you could go and door knock on an ugly house and have a conversation. You could go mm -hmm. for 14 cents an address, pull the phone numbers for, or you could go for free. You can and go right now on People Finder or White Pages or whatever yeah. else. Google. On any of these things. Zillow. Put, you put, go to Zillow, you Zillow put the address, app. it'll tell yeah. you. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, you'll 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 get the phone number for the owner, and then you have a, a conversation. You can start it up and get it going. And I think the the people, some of the new people that I've seen that come to us to help them with their deal sometimes. It's usually like a neighbor or a friend yeah. who is their first mm -hmm. deal. You know, like as long as they keep their eyes open, we all know of that one house where that weird neighbor <laughs> needs help yeah. or something's going on that looks kind of abandoned. Things are going on, you know. I mean, it's all up to, to them. I mean, how hard is it to go knock? Hey, man, if you ever need anything or you need to sell, just want you to know that I buy houses cash. Let yep. me know. I'm your plug. I mean, because the last thing I want you to be in a bad spot. Yep. I'm your neighbor. Let's help each other out. Awesome. Boom. You're yep. doing it that enough times. I mean, you know, definitely. Uh, I know what, one of the questions that was asked um, by some people out there is, uh, what's your favorite book? Like, if you, Go your giver. favorite book of all time. Yeah, The Go-Giver. 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 Super easy. It's a parable. Dude is a, um, is a, uh, a go-getter, yep. right? But he just can't get ahead because yep. he's always thinking about himself. Yep. And uh, I was that for a long time, so that mm. really resonated. Because when you're young, you're you're you're, you're uh, you know, you're just like ah, let's go. Fucking go. I'm gonna. This is I gotta show those. Hurry. I gotta show those <laughs> those dudes and those women from high school and all these. You know, I gotta yeah. I gotta be the man. I gotta right. I gotta show that I'm, I'm successful. Rush. You know, my high this, school reunions yeah, coming, coming up. <laughs> we got. I got. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I became nobody a millionaire. Knows. I didn't get a party. Nobody <laughs> gave a shit. Nobody cares. You're waiting, you know? sitting down inside your house, like where is the parade? Yeah, yeah there is I none. Just, I just made a million. Where's my parade? Oh my god, that parade. <laughs> you know, I thought everybody that was mean, you know, would come up and line up and just kiss my ass, but it didn't happen. Nobody it even didn't knows. Happen. Nobody what's cares. Happening. Everybody's living their life. You know what everybody, I mean? That's that's the whole thing. It's got to be for you. It's got to be for you. It's and once you realize that 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 we're we're put here to provide value yeah. um, that's when people look your way and and that's when you become a magnet yeah. that's when success is a magnet when you go out there to serve you win that's yeah. it whether it be a distressed property owner whether it be the cash buyer whether it be the unbelievable amount of people that are impacted by every single transaction down the line whether it be people that you that that work with you or the title company or the hard money people or you know everybody is influenced i mean in a in a regular transaction there's probably 15 people that that mm -hmm. touch the file yep. um and you affect all their lives yep. from one conversation from picking up your cell phone and calling a stranger and asking them if they would consider a, an offer on their property. So that's powerful and that's exciting. Incredible. And so, um, yeah, it's just doing the work. It's just it's just taking the action, doing the work and having the courage to do it um, when when um, when nobody's there to cheerlead you, when nobody's there to like, yeah, let's do this. Let's all get together and make calls and everything. Most of the time we start out in our kitchen There's or no our way. living room or our bedroom making calls yeah. in the middle of the day. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it's just Scared evolves. as hell. Yeah. Brent, uh, a lot of our, a lot of our uh, followers wanted to know what makes you so happy of what you do? Yeah. Um, what you do? What's something that you say, hey, you know what? This is why I do it because this is what makes me happy. Yeah. Things either give you energy or they drain your energy. This gives me energy. Okay. So I don't know if it's just from my, from, from my experience 
from my situation, from the things that I've been through, through for DNA, who knows? Mm -hmm. But I just get excited um, <laughs> knowing that any day, every day, you can you can make ten, twenty, fifty, hundred thousand dollars in this business, and that's only you only get that if you can provide that, and your company can provide that to your uh, your town, your city, your your community, your marketplace, whatever you want to call it. That's exciting. That's bananas. The, the fact that I'm in con total control of my where I want to go financially, that is that is so, I mean, how can you not be happy there? Of course. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, and then surrounding yourself with the people that you love. Surrounding yourself with people that are going to be around. Surrounding, building something, uh, not just for yourself, but for them. Giving them huge bonuses. Changing their lives yeah. uh, as they're changing your lives. It's a reciprocal yeah. thing. It doesn't happen right. just one way. It's not a one-way road. So um, it's just, real estate's incredible. I mean, what, 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 where else can you do this? You know what sure. I mean? I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. And, and also, I think we're in the right country as well. Because, I mean, if you want to do this in yeah. other countries, it's so freaking difficult. Right. To wholesale in Venezuela, like I tried it. It's like not possible. Right. <laughs> right. The houses didn't even exist. Right. Like, dang, man. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Go try doing it somewhere else. It's tough. Absolutely, try doing man. it in Canada. You can't do it it's, in Canada. This is like we're in the one of the countries where you can go... At least for now, it gets re regulated at some point. Who knows, man? <laughs> yeah. uh, what keeps you up at night, man? Nothing. Nothing keeps you up at night? Nope. There's nothing. You're like, I you sleep, go to sleep like a baby. I sleep like a baby every Ooh. single night. Well, I read before I go to bed, but I really uh -huh. don't. If, if, if anything keeps me up at night, it is ambition. It's yeah. thoughts. It's yeah. whatever. But uh, I've really. Plotting. I, Plotting. Yeah, but it's like super weird, right? So. <laughs> We spend so much time in our in the past, which makes no sense. It's gone, and so much time in the future, which is not there. Mm -hmm. And then you try to. I've been trying to spend more time being absolutely present. Mm -hmm. You know, not looking at things, not doing things, just being boom, right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like being in the present, being excited yeah. right now. Yeah. Because I could leave here and, and and get into a car crash and die. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who yeah. knows? And not it, saying that would happen. And it happened to some people, but uh, before the year ended, you know, like it's crazy. I know some people personally. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just, you, you, you just never know. So, I mean, I'm trying to live more in the moment. Um, keeping me up at night would just be like wild thoughts of something exciting I wanted to do or something metaverse. that was chat. Well, I don't, that's, <laughs> what? That's, the metaverse. Be, that's a whole thing. Yeah, that, that could keep a lot of people up at night. What but I mean, I, I, I think just once you get into the rhythm where you know you've got a good, successful business, you've got a good message, you've got good people, you've got, uh, you, you've got your health, you stay, you exercise, you do these things. Um, you know, exhaustion is the best pillow. So burn out your day, burn get out. enough, get enough in, have enough conversations yeah. to where you lay down, boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. life. That's great. I love yep. it. I love it, man. Yep. Well, I mean, you know, it's uh, almost that time to start wrapping up. We've been here for almost an hour already. Yeah. How time flies? Yeah. It really does. We could be yeah. talking really for days. days. Like, er, topics yeah. never end, man. I mean. Uh, do you want to give a closing message to our viewers? Yeah. Um, something that you want to leave them with? I sure. Because I know a lot of people are going to go find you after this. Cause yeah. We have so many well, new people well, that to, want. That not to mention, not, not to mention the. That's so scary. Not to mention the event. Uh, you, people will have the opportunity that's to be able oh, to connect with you on the event, gonna January the event. January twentieth. But right. because we have so many new people looking for that training, yeah. that coaching, I will find you know, like there. We we want to be the avenue that provides them these sure. things that they need, and sure. so I'm sure you're gonna get a lot of new new people from this. Yeah, oh, yeah. the the best place is um, just Brent Daniels on YouTube. Check it out. Um, we put a ton. We, we 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 put a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of love into Looks that amazing. channel to get the amazing. instruction uh, that people need to get going. Yeah. And uh, I specialize in in helping people get their first deals and get going. Yeah. Obviously I work with a lot of people on scaling their business and scaling it right to where they're actually profitable. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, my, my message is this, like if you have that brain that is constantly thinking about being an entrepreneur, constantly thinking about the freedom that you want, constantly reading books and listening to podcasts and surrounding yourself with people that are successful. Uh, I think you owe it to yourself to go out and grab 20, 30 addresses, get the phone numbers, call them up and ask them if they would consider an offer and just see how it feels, see how it works. See if that's like the seed that really starts to like 
grow this business that you have inside your mind because all, all of it all of what you've created what you guys have put together here uh it's it's all in our minds yep. right it's all it's yep. it's all created it's all manifested from the thoughts that we have we come we become what we think about yep. you know what i mean so if you're constantly thinking about this you're going to do it but you have to take that action you have to have that courage you have to be able to go out there and and fail a ton <laughs> and look stupid a ton and uh and then and 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 watch it be successful watch it morph into something that's really exciting and, and you'll probably enjoy it more right let's say you fail a shill at a times mm -hmm. and everybody's already laughing and then you make it you know they're like, they're, they're, they're no, like hey, all you fail. suckers all you suckers are laughing at me it must be Look sweeter sweeter and then you get the dms Woo, what do you, hey, what, what's, this, what's this wholesale thing hey what what, 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 are, what are you doing what again <laughs> what do you do how are do you, i sign up are you a youtuber <laughs> are you a realtor are no? you a youtuber is what is it? yeah yeah <laughs> no man but uh Thanks again. Thank Thanks again for being Thank here. You. We're super, exci super excited to have you on stage. Yeah. You're going to crush it. We have so many people already signed up. We have over 700 people signed up, registered for it. Awesome. Uh, so it should be should be amazing. Can't thank you enough for being here again. You're one of our idols. Yeah. We look up to you, you so much, man. We're definitely aiming to be at your level someday. And, you know, um, if we ever, you know, if you ever need anything from us. Yeah. Pick up the phone. We're always here. We're yep. always available. Yep. But uh, look forward to continued success uh, with awesome. your company. And, uh, man, God bless you for everything that you do, man. Thousands Thank you. of people, life changed already. Thank you, guys. So. Thank you. What's My honor. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, y'all. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, Wholesale Sharks Presents will be available January 20th at the Phoenix Marriott Airport. Get tickets at wholesalesharkspresent.com. Uh, other than that, looking forward to seeing you guys there. Peace.